Hey, what's up everyone? Jason Turley here. We're back with more Pico CTF. We're on their Pico Gym website looking at Pico CTF 2023, the forensics category of challenges. The first one is called Hi to Me and it's worth 100 points. Let's click on it and see what this is all about. The little tags read that it's forensics and that it's some type of steganography. Steganography is the process of like hiding data within other data, usually like hiding hints or data or clues inside of images. So the description reads, every file gets a flag. The SOC analyst, the SOC is the security operations center. So the analyst there saw one image being sent back and forth between two people. They decided to investigate and found out that there was more than what meets the eye here. And then there's a little link to click on. Right click, open a new tab. Firefox asks us what we want to do with it. Just open it here. That's fine. And we see it here. It's just the Pico CTF logo. All right. Let me grab this. Copy, go over to my terminal window. I'm going to open up Tmux, the terminal multiplexer, just so I can make windows and panes as we go. Let's make a directory called hi to me and navigate into that directory. Navigate into it and let's download that file. If we run the file command on it, it shows that this is a PNG image. We knew that. All right, one little cheesy thing we can do, we can look at the strings, the human readable characters inside this file. We can type that into less. All right, nothing quite interesting here. We can hit forward slash and try to search for Pico, Pico CTF, anything like that. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh, this is interesting. We see secret slash UT and secret slash flag PNG. So it looks like there's a hidden directory in here. And we see that again. Let's look at the man page for Binwalk, which is a tool for searching binary images for embedded files, which is probably exactly what we have here. Here we go, extraction options. Automatically extract known file types. Let's do that, let's do attack E. See if that gives us anything good. Binwalk, attack E on flag.png. Oh, we see a lot. A lot of things were here, right? We see the offset in decimal or in hexadecimal. We see that PNG image. Okay, we do that. Zlib compressed data, zip archive, zip archive, slash secret. Let's do an LS. So we have our flag PNG here that was already there from before. And then we have everything that Binwalk extracted into its own directory, right? That's a directory. We can navigate into it. Let's look at secret. There's a different flag, that PNG. Is that the same as the other one? Dot that slash flag PNG. It says they differ. We can open this up with our file explorer, right? Just click that. Where's mine stored? YouTube, Pico, hide me. You see I have a bunch of Pico CTF challenges over the years. Flag extracted, secret, keep going, open folder. And now we can click on that flag PNG and open it this way. And there we have it, right? Pico CTF, hiding an image within an image. I wonder if I can strings, let me see me. I wonder if I can strings that. Is the flag in here? No, we get some like a uh, data. The date created and the date modified. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any cool hacker way to like grab the text from this image, copy and paste it into the um, the prompt, the challenge prompt, the answer flag prompt. Oh well, we'll just have to type it out. All right, one cool last tip. If you don't want to open that file in the file explorer, right? Maybe this is too slow. Maybe you want to do everything from the command line. You can use a program called EOG, Eye of Gnome. And if you don't have that installed, you can just sudo apt get install EOG or use whatever package manager you have for your Linux distribution. EOG and then the flag. And it will pop it up in your terminal nice and easy. 
So there you have it. That's it for this video. Let me know if there's any way to like copy and paste the text or like transcript the text into my clipboard, if that makes any sense. So I don't have to type it out by hand into the um, little prompt here. But essentially that's what we did. We found this image. We used Binwalk to extract the hidden data that was inside of it at these two analysts. And it was really just a directory that had another flag in there. So links to my socials, study notes are down in the description below. As always, take it easy and see you guys in the next video.